When you take a step into Christopher Custer's studio, his passion for cars is obvious. From comic books to action figures to toy cars. Collecting Hot Wheels, his hobby? Always been around cars my whole life. But it's his talent you can't see that turns heads. The stroke of a brush. Watercolors can be a little tricky sometimes. A dip in the water. A variety of colors. Layer by layer. Christopher glides his brushes bristles to paint the scene of a New England escape. The ability to have a, a creative outlet has really changed my life. All of his pieces are unique, not because of the final product, but because of how he paints them. I was an average normal human before I got hurt. At 21, his life was changed. I ran down and jumped in the water and I hit my head on the bottom. Uh, and was instantly paralyzed. The first few years were the toughest. I was just, you know, just another handicapped person with no real purpose. Forcing him to find a different way to express himself. A friend of mine that was uh, an, a nurse and she had seen people paint and draw before with their mouth. She showed me and she bought me my first set of paints and, and brushes and, you know, my first painting was horrible. Custer says the colors, the concentration, the challenge changed his life. I find that it's an amazing way to be able to express myself and to also escape my physical bounds. He paints everything from still life and landscapes to cartoons and gnomes. Depending on what kind of mood I'm in or, you know, what I've seen or what has stimulated me from the outside world is basically where I'll go with a painting that I'm working on at that time. His finished art hangs proudly in the home he and his caretaker, Teresa Moore, share. A space to create and showcase his masterpieces. His focus is right there. He's not thinking about how he feels or what hurts or his spasms. His creativity spurs his resiliency. He has overcome so much and been successful at it. It's just, you know, you look at it and think, well, if he could do that, people can do anything. But his art only tells part of the story. I think that people don't see the um, childness in him, the childlike texture of his personality. That playful spirit comes to life in his work and in his studio. I have been a kid my whole entire life. Surrounded by the product of his imagination, each stroke of paint tells his story on a canvas. Um, when I'm creating and when I'm painting, I sort of forget about everything else that's going on in, in the world and just immerse myself in whatever I'm doing at the time. His creativity shape his world with these walls, one brush stroke at a time. In Tarpon Springs, Charlize Ramos, WUFT News.